determine the value of gravity using a simple pendulum. To find the value, first we need to find the time period of the pendulum, which is the time taken by the pendulum to complete one single oscillation. After we have the time period, we have to find the effective length, which is the length from the suspension point to the center of mass of the bob. After we have the effective length and the time period, we can substitute both these values in the formula P is equal to 2 pi under root L by G where T is the time period in seconds, L is the effective length in meters and G is the gravity in meter per second. G is the constant that we need to find. This is the diagrammatic representation of the simple pendulum. So the point of suspension is A and the interception of the string and the bob is point B. The center of the bob is point C. B, D, E and F are points on the surface of the bob and they are placed in such a way that B and D are diametrically opposite, E and F are diametrically opposite as well. So the effective length in this case is the distance from the point A to the point C which is equal to the length of the string plus the radius. The radius can be written as diameter minus the half of diameter. So the effective length is equal to AB, the length of the string, plus BD, which is the diameter, minus EF by 2, which is the radius. Now the first step in finding this effective length is finding the diameter of the bob, which is the value BD. So we can find the value of the diameter using the caliper. So the diameter of the bob is equal to 2.545 cm. Next we need to find the length of the thread which will be equal to 15.13 cm. And after that we can substitute both these values in the effective length formula. And we will finally get the value as 16.4025 cm. Now we need the length in meters so that we can substitute this in the original formula. So the length will be 0.164025 meters. So we now have the effective length. The next step is to find the time period. We can find the time period by finding the time period of 10 oscillations and then dividing that time period by 10. We measure the time period for 10 oscillations using a stopwatch. So the time period is 8.14 seconds. Now we will divide 8.14 seconds by 10 to get 0.814 seconds. Now 0.814 seconds is the time period for one single oscillation. Now we have the time period as well as the effective length and we can substitute this in the original formula. For substituting the values, we can first simplify the formula bit. So the formula is t is equal to 2 pi under root L by G. So it will be t square upon 4 pi r square equal to L by G. So G is equal to 4 pi r square into L divided by t square. Now we will substitute both the values. So 4 pi r square into 0.164025 meter divided by 0.814 whole square second square. Now when we simplify this, we will get the final value as 9.772844 meter per second square, which is the value of gravity. Hope you guys like this video. Do share it out with your friends. And if you want to be our next science genie and win our special coupon, do send us your videos by WhatsApp or email. Details are given in the description. So looking forward to receiving your science genie videos.